No, Hi everybody, no. uh, remind you to raise your hand if you'd like to ask a question. I will start with questions in English. Please. Hi Daniel, Azan here from Quality Shot. Congrats on your win. It wasn't exactly the word I'm sure you would have liked uh, the match to go. Do you prefer having the extra rest to recover physically or would you prefer some more time on court? It's tough to say. Well, first of all, I prefer to not have anyone injured, that's for sure. Not me, not my opponent, not anyone. A life without injuries would be good, but that's sports. Uh, and you know, it depends how the match would be. If I would have lost, then uh, probably prefer the way it is now. If I would have won 7-6 in the fifths, not sure it would be good for the next match. But again, it is what it is. I'm going to have uh, probably a bit more practice tomorrow because I actually didn't get to warm up today before the match. Uh, because it was raining, uh, so we'll probably just hit more tomorrow and uh, be ready for the next match. Hi Daniel, next is Yannick. Um, half an hour ago he said that he's expecting that you're going to come up with something because it's what he did when he um, stopped the strike that it was to you in, uh, in Beijing. Uh, my question, I know that you're not going to tell me what you're going to come up, but <laughs> did you actually uh, already Mm, talk to something with Jill to try to understand how to, you know, break Yannick's trick? Mm, we didn't talk yet, but we actually practiced with Yannick here before the tournament and was a great set. Uh, was a great uh, practice set. And look, uh, the funny thing uh, is I lost five times, but if I remember right, the four times were really close. So uh, did I get unlucky or not? Like even Beijing, two tie breaks, then what was it? Then was Vienna quite crazy match to win still close match i feel like maybe yeah he won it easier than the other than australian open close match and then miami he won easy so i feel like i was not far but great job from him to win it five times in a row and uh first time we're playing on grass i'm definitely gonna come up with something hopefully i'm gonna be playing good surf is important on grass so whatever you come up with the more aces you hit the better you feel so it's gonna be important from both of us uh, and I'm going to try yeah, to see what I can do to, to, to play good, to surprise him, to make him in trouble. Uh, he's for sure going to do the same and uh, hopefully it's going to be a good match and I'll try my best to win. Catherine. Mm. Hi, Daniil. Obviously, there's been a, a total reversal of your head-to-head -head against Yannick. How different an opponent does he feel to you now in your last few meetings since at the start of your, your rivalry? together what's he doing differently how different does it feel to face him he plays better he misses less because he was always you know when Yannick came on tour straight away everyone was a little bit not shocked but like how he is strong he hits how he can like uh, run fast and hit strong from every position of the court but he was missing a lot and hence losing a, a lot some matches and as soon as he stopped missing less well now it's very tough to beat him for anyone not only for me and that's why he's number one in the world uh, I do think, if I'm not mistaken, like by statistics, I usually play better against number one in the, in the world than maybe some other guy. So let's see if it helps me uh, against Yannick. But again, yeah, he just misses less, serves much better. His serve was not as good before. And these small details uh, makes big difference in tennis. And uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely tougher to play him now than before. But again, as I said, the matches were close, so I had my chances and I'll try to use them better this time. Beyond Gilles' list of 15 players? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, like Sinner, Alcaraz, you know, probably a lot of top 10 guys are this uh, on this list, yeah. Still, uh, it's quite difficult to understand why someone can win six times in a row and then loses five times in a row, even if there are closest match. Uh, is it mental? Is it uh, that one day you wake up, uh, you feel better, the other one doesn't feel well? Um, it's not so easy. If I had to say to my grandmother wh why this happens, I would be in trouble. Uh, uh, what about grass? Uh, the, the, this, uh, you didn't like much grass at the beginning. Uh, now, what do you think? Uh, this surface, who is favoring a little bit more? I mean, someone who eats harder, someone who eats the ball like you do, that the ball don't bounce very high. I mean, what 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 do you, what is your feeling about grass? Yeah, I think first of all, talking uh, about what you said in the beginning, it's all together. How you wake up this day, uh, who again makes an ace on the break point, like. Uh, 
I think uh, even Miami, you know, easy match for him. But the one break point I had to try to maybe turn the match around, he made ace. So good job. And that's how you do it. That's how you win matches or lose them. Don't make a double photo, make for on break point, make an ace. Uh, so it's a lot of different details. Um, and on grass, uh, tough to say because now for sure everyone talks about it. And this is the reality. Grass is much slower uh, because when I grew up, when I was 10 years old, I watch and I had the feeling that it's impossible to break from baseline. Now the feeling is that when you go to the net, it's not that easy. Maybe on hard courts even is uh, same to go to the net. So it's definitely different. Uh, and I think surf, surf stays very important. So whoever manages to surf good is, uh, is uh, in big advantage. And you know, Roger Novak is actually impressive because they don't have surf like 230 kilometers per hour but super precise and super like sharp and it's tough to break them, tough to beat them. That's why they won so many times there. Same for Carlos last year. I played him in semis, he was serving well. And that's again, what I have to do against Yannick. I have to serve well and then you, you get your chances in the match. Just... Hi, Daniel. Um, I'm curious about your level of tennis in this tournament. If you're happy with the level you, you reach, obviously today doesn't really count. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, yes, I... A bit up and down, like first match, you always get just to feel what it is. And I think I played well. Second match, I felt like I could play much better. But I actually got the feedback from like my team, from some people, even like friends, that uh, Alexander was playing amazing and everyone thought I was playing good too. So good to know. Against uh, Struf, I think I played very good. And today, uh, top beginning of the match, again, I didn't get the warm up. I think if I'm not mistaken, Grigor got injured at 3 all, so already good to come back to 3 all, uh, And yeah, I'm feeling, feeling good in my shots, feeling good mentally, in a good state, so uh, feeling strong and looking forward to a match against world number one. Really? My question was answered already, thank you. Perfect. <laughs> Daniel, I'm just curious, when you've played someone so many times lately, how does that change how you prepare? Do you not watch as much video because you've seen him so many times? Like does it change it at all? Yeah, I think uh, it depends. I, I, I feel more like the more you beat the opponent, the more you get like the feel, oh, okay, I play there, I play like this, he's in trouble. And the more you lose, the trickier it becomes because you're like, okay, I did this. The other match, I tried the other thing. I lost the both matches. What do I have to do better? Where do I have to combine it? So for sure, we're going to talk uh, a lot with my team. Videos, I don't know, because it's grass, so it's different. I'm not sure that videos is going to be like much the thing, because as, as you say, we, we played each other a lot. We know how it is. It's just for me to come up uh, with a good tactic for, the, for this day, grass. Do I return from close? Do I return from far? Do I play aggressive? Do I play defensive? Defensive is not good, but like a little waiting uh, i will see uh, and then the match is a different story and during the match it's also important to adapt uh, that's what he did well in australian open so uh, i'm looking forward for a tough battle and an interesting match have time for one more okay thank you thank, thank you guys thank you.